I want to mention to you that there are two types of costs that um, um, portfolio managers or players within the financial services industry actually incur. The first cost is implicit cost. One implicit cost. Implicit costs. And these implicit costs are considered to be indirect costs. Indirect costs. So when performing the trading um, activity or buying and selling of securities, these implicit costs may not be readily identified, identifiable or discernible. They are real. Nonetheless, implicit costs include the following. They include, number one, market impact costs. Number two, we're talking about um, the bid ask spread, which we already learned earlier on. Amongst other costs, um, amongst other costs um, which are also considered to be Im implicit or indirect. The other type of costs include number two, this is the major subdivision over here, number two, explicit costs. Costs. And we are saying that explicit costs are direct costs of trading such as brokerage commission, stamp duty, and the rest. These are, are direct costs. And they are readily discernible, or they are actually, uh, they actually impact on um, the trading um, 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 activity. We are saying that when you buy a security, they are direct. You, you are charged a commission, you are charged by fees, you are charged amongst other things um, um, to facilitate the trading to be executed, or to facilitate the trade to be executed. They are direct costs um, and include, what are number one, we're talking about commissions, commissions, number two, stamp duty, Number three, we're also talking about taxes. If you recall, um, about five to six years ago, the government in Kenya had tried um, to um, Im implement what we call the um, capital gains taxes over here. So an example of this um, is CGT, it was a common word um, during that period. Capital gains tax is a form of taxes. Of course, it was scrapped out in Kenya, but um, in fixed income investments, um, it's still there. And that's why you still see me um, um, actually listing it um, right over here. And once we have looked at the difference between implicit and explicit costs, we can move on. Try to analyze the types of costs based on um, looking at two methods that can mention or that can be able to help us um, try and analyze um, the trading costs. So analysis of trading costs. Analysis of trading costs. The first cost or the first analysis or the first method is using the volume weighted average price or VWAP and number two is implementation implementation shortfall <laughs>